So um, today it's time to uh, tie a fly in hand. I've done that a couple of times, but I don't uh, practice it uh, regularly. So today we got some hooks, partridge for O. Uh, it's it's a normal hook, so I'm gonna fish with this fly. Uh, and this package is inspected by Helen. Thank you. Good work. So uh, to be able to call. Uh, is tying in hand so so I'm gonna do it the harder style so they were allowed to have uh, scissors uh, dubbing needle and a uh, hackle piler so that's basically it so I'm gonna have two different scissors one for the tinsel and one for the, the fine stuff okay everything else I just remove so today I'm gonna tie the mega miss Megan Boyd salmon fly so I prepared a thread that I just waxed. So let's see what we can do with this one then. So let me make sure I'm finding the right way as I prefer it. There we are. So then we need to have oval tinsel. So let me add that one. There we are. So let's cut the leftover for the tinsel. And since I don't do this that much, uh, I might concentrate and forget to, to talk about what I'm doing. So now the tinsel is added, looks okay. So adding the silk again. So now I have two wraps. Can move the silk forward. So I thought and my dog is here protecting. 
protect and serve. There we are. Then we can cut the bit. Remove the crab. Now I have the, the tinsel and also the, the, the silk. So let me go back. Now it's back again. I might need to do a few more turnials to secure it. So, trying to add the blue one again. Um, The blue is there. Then we should have some ostrich herb. So let me then add that one to the cork. So let me see in which direction. So let me take one of these tools then. And uh, just gonna do a few wraps here. And there it is, so cutting that one off. Yeah, a good starting point for the tin cell.
<coughs> so then we are tin seal in place, wax on the fingers. So what we now need so I think I will add another nah let me use this one because what we need to do now is to add yellow silver one third of the body it's not optimal since I wax the thread black but hey come on let's do this Not sure if you can see what to do, but hopefully. There we are. So I'm just tying that in. And the good part now is that I'm actually running out of thread. Secure this one. Take a new one. Oh. That's a good wax. Really good. So that, that's the progress so far. Let me put that one while I sort out the tinsel. Oh, sorry, the thread. Then we're going for blue seal fur. And actually, in between that, I'm gonna tie in a hackle, a blue hackle. Blue hackle over the blue seal fur. So I'm gonna do this move in two sections. First, it's gonna be uh, the first part uh, as we're doing now. It's the the body. And then I'm gonna do the second one, that is the the tail, of course. Not the tail, come on, the wing. I'm not going to add too much wax on that, this one. There we are. Maybe just a little bit more. Since we need to tie it in anyhow. So, let's get the hook. So just cutting the thread there, hopefully. I think I just moved forward. There we are. And then we take the hackle, the body hackle.
and there's a lot of people claiming they are tying in hand uh, unless I'm seeing it I, I'm not sure they are there's a few masters out there can middle missed lost hardy flat tire uh, we have uh, Jean Voli is fantastic uh, there's another lady in US I forgot the name uh, you have uh, Long from from Norway I've seen him tying in hand and I have two of them they are fantastic but of course there there's a bit more people doing it but uh, yeah when I see it, I, tr I, I believe it. Some people throw out this fantastic, uh, you know, nice in the vice uh, flies and state it's in hand, but uh, are they really? So a bit more silver. So I have the silver there. We have almost everything in things, so let's do the bag. Silver tinsel. I'm trying to cut the the what the tinsel. But this is, uh, I think it's. Uh, maybe I need to change that one to another one. Yeah, then it was easy. So let's then uh, take this the body hackle.
cut off uh, everything here. So let's see if I can pull it back. Progress. So instead of using Guinea Fall, I'm gonna use this uh, Swedish. I think they have them in Canada and Russia as well. You know, up north is uh, Capricorn. So, so I dyed it blue. Really nice as front tackle. I like it. I would say that's my style. I've done it for years. So let's secure that one. I have very very little thread as you see. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure you see it but but just a little bit. Hmm. I'm gonna secure that one. Take some more thread. It's in a step where you don't want to run up the thread, so let me attach that one there. Taking some more thread with this wonderful wax. And then, no, I think it might be easier without, hopefully.
yeah. So I'm just going to tie that one in properly. Going back. Up. Secure. Few hard wraps. Cut it off. Remove that one. Let's have a look. Oh, looks great. As you see, I really like this feather. So I'm just pulling it down on the sides. So I'm just going to use the dubbing needle to pull out some, some more seal because I, I really enjoy when it's a lot of seal fur. So basically that's the body. So I'm going to prepare the wing and then I'm going to shoot the second part of uh, this fly. And it's going to be added to YouTube as well. So if you like what I do, do a thumbs up and if not, don't do it. Um, don't be afraid to share it. Share it on Facebook, whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, see you soon. Make sure to pre uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that because I add videos all the time, uh, at least twice a week. Uh, and uh, yeah, if I'm traveling, I try to do it once a week, depending on, on what I'm doing. So, okay, see you soon for the part two of this fly, okay? Bye.